What's up my single chads and toxic gamers coming at you with an emergency video, okay? How are we all doing Sony Ponies and Xbox and this is how we feeling today, okay? Because today a ton of rumors are flying. We also got a confirmation and let me tell you man, Sega's are not stopping right now. Sega's are going and ganging right now. We also have the homie Dreamcast guy. Uh, we, we got a video that we're gonna check out, okay? Man got hit in the G-spot. He got a hard on for the Xbox demise and let me actually picture this real quick, okay? This entire week, the Sony Ponies have been going wild right because we heard the rumors that the xbox games are gonna be coming on the playstation and that made this homie cry okay this this guy's like blessed with like five kids man ended up crying on camera because of the rumor that xbox games are gonna be coming out on playstation that happened right and yes yeah, sony ponies made this guy cry and I'm, i swear to god bro if these rumors turns out to be fake dog the the xbox andies they're gonna murder sony ponies but like and share subscribe and check this out the Roll xbox it. apocalypse continues to rage on as we have tons of rumors of microsoft exclusives coming to the playstation 5 talks about possibly microsoft giving up on making new xbox hardware there's even been some leaks about the idea of possibly bethesda employees being mad about some xbox plans but we're about to finally know the truth microsoft oh is going to do a very long very in-depth press conference coming up here in 72 hours oh shit, oh shit. yo looks like that we better get like a third state of play for for playstation man god damn god damn but let's take a look at what they said and what some of the leaks are pointing towards okay. hi i'm okay. dreamcast guy if you enjoy you this video enjoy be this sure video, to give it a like give it a like and subscribe, subscribe if you haven't already like and subscribe guys like and subscribe so here it is this tweet just came out Please join a special edition of the official Xbox podcast. You're going to be Yo, it looks like that Christmas came early for the homie Dreamcast guy, guys. From <laughs> Bill Spencer, Sarah Bond, and Matt Booty as they share updates Mad Booty. about yeah. the Xbox business. Now, this is literally everybody directly in charge yeah. of Xbox. That's the head of Xbox, that's the head of Xbox Games, and that's the head of Xbox Game Studios, and they're all coming together on Thursday. Yeah, my, my guy got a hard on for the Xbox demise right now. Homie be like, okay, it's all it's all gas right now. Let me crack my knuckles, yo, because apparently <laughs> Xbox Games coming to PlayStation, and it, it is just over, because like, uh, if, and I'm telling you guys, if the rumors turns out to be fake, if the rumors turn out to be fake though, the Xbox Andy's gonna murder murder Sony ponies. There would be no remorse. Leaks have been insane. Talking about the idea of Starfield coming to PlayStation, which apparently some people are backtracking on. Gears yeah. of War, Halo, Sea of Thieves, Hi-Fi Rush. It sounds like this is definitely a real thing, but already the comments are going ballistic. Is this the beginning of the end? People yeah. are basically saying three days till the fall. Oh boy, <laughs> a podcast format. Honestly, this is one of the things that definitely jumped yeah, out. Yeah, what if like Phil Spencer just gonna talk about like uh, his retirement or something like that, Bruh. right? What if he talks about like buying a mansion? What if he talks about like buying Buying like another company, right? Like, or what if he talks just about like the Activision, like how successful it has been buying Activision? What if he just talks about that, right? What if he talks about just retiring in five years from now or ten years from now or something like that? Like, okay, uh, dog, if that happens, that's gonna be crazy, though. Me, the most official Xbox podcast to me definitely implies that there is not only a ton to say, like. I mean, if you're doing an hour-long sit-down discussion, it's probably going to be trying to explain all the intricacies of this. If I could take a guess right now from everything I've seen, I think they're going to kind of explain which games are about to be third-party and which games aren't. I definitely think the biggest, most expensive Xbox things are going to stay on Xbox. I think Elder Scrolls Six is going to be an Xbox exclusive, oh, whatever the next Halo oh. is, whatever the next Gears of War, whatever the next Forza. I think those are the kind of projects that are going yeah. to stay on Xbox and Game Pass. That's part of what this is, though. I do believe Christmas is about to come early for the homie Dreamcast guy. That we're going to stop seeing day and date. There have been some discussions about the idea that Xbox is bleeding money. They're definitely bleeding fans. Even the replies here, people are talking about the fact that they've already sold. Sorry, uh, people. <laughs> all these people just completely freaking out. I'm ready for Hellblade 2 on my PS5. Too late, I already sold my Xbox <laughs> Series X. Damn. I can't wait to pay Xbox exclusives on my PS5. Yeah, you guys think that these are like paid by, uh, these people are paid by Jim Ryan? Because like, listen, man, this guy started crying on camera though. You know what I mean? He looks like that he's blessed with five kids. I, I don't know if he has like five kids or not. Bruh. But you know what I mean, right? Like, uh, Asmongold did a video on it. We also made a video on it. And 
and this was absolutely hilarious and then we also had like this guy apparently massive xbox fanboy and he said that bro he's quitting xbox like <laughs> Like, I, I, I don't know, man. Like, what, what's happening? Over these rumors that games are going to be coming out on PlayStation, like, so the meltdown has been absolutely insane, y'all. Every action has consequences, because if it turns out, like, the, these rumors are fake, bro, damn, man. I mean, damn. The Xbox and is gonna murder the PlayStation. I mean, these people are gonna have a massive comeback, okay? The, the guy said, F Xbox, I'm selling my Xbox. He's gonna start buying like two, three more Xboxes, okay? Like, let's just be real, guys. <laughs> I'm not having to buy a Series X. Man, a lot of the replies basically completely it. abandoning Xbox. It seems like Microsoft has been bleeding cash for the most part on Xbox in general. And I don't mean that as an insult, I just mean in general that we're kind of in that Netflix moment where company dog, like when you got three trillion dollars you don't care about like a one million here 10 million there or 70 billion dollars on activision you know what i'm saying <laughs> these things don't care and i'm sitting here i'm like yo can a brother get two pennies like uh, and, and, and everybody that smashes like man they deserve to get like two benches okay like like and subscribe guys like and subscribe these are trying to get hundreds of millions of people to pay ten dollars a month instead of having you know one million people pay sixty dollars per game i don't think that's been working for microsoft but this could be their interesting mix what if they come out and talk about hey here's the future of xbox new games are going to be sixty dollars or seventy dollars for the first three months and then uh -huh. they come to xbox game pass i think uh -huh. that's what we're going to see but i have seen damn. a lot of speculation about the fact that it does sound like things are going to go badly oh, the tone of this tweet yo yeah Yo, the homie Phil also fired like 1900 devs, right? And prior to buying Activision, he said that we're gonna make a good and healthy environment for the devs. And he acquires Activision, he tells them that it's gonna be a healthy environment, acquires Activision, and then fires everybody. Yeah. <laughs> He fires everybody, and then he started getting, so he started spreading rumors that Starfield is coming on PlayStation, all the Xbox games coming on PlayStation. Suckers so go in panic mode. We, we got like the Xbox fanboys. Uh, they started disowning Xbox, uh, right? And, and they they are coming out of. Uh, they're going in their bunker right now. Actually, they're building their bunkers. And, and, and now it, it's like uh, Phil confirms that there's like a podcast happening though. So we we're gonna listen to what's gonna happen. It's certainly pessimistic to say the least. People are talking about the fact that this Xbox business update definitely sounds like Xbox players are being laid off. Damn. This is interesting to me because there has just been so much negativity about this and, and announcement some people are before saying it's that, even happened. Some people are saying that this is not going to be like an Xbox like podcast. This is just going to be like a third state of play for the Sony ponies. And I, I, I just can't, dog. Like, I just can't, yo. And a lot of people are placing that blame onto Xbox themselves. PlayStation and Nintendo, I think, have done a good job of just selling you a product. Buy this console. Play our exclusives. You know, if you enjoy it, tell your friends about it. Maybe post some screenshots about it. Whereas Xbox, they have this weird parasocial thing. Yeah. The exact. Yeah, they they trash. Like, just say that, yo. Like, they they trash. Like, simple, bro. Easy, bro. Creatives like hang out with the fans. They constantly fly in Xbox YouTubers to just go to lunch and stuff. Now. Yeah, like Cold East. Did he really say Cold Eastwood? Did he, did he really say Cold Eastwood having a lunch with Phil Spencer without saying Cold Eastwood is having a lunch with Phil Spencer? Come on, bruh. bruh. He's talking about Cold Eastwood here. Because Cold Eastwood was having lunch with Phil Spencer and then the, the game that they dropped right after turns out to be hot trash. Bruh. You know? I, I believe it was uh, Redfall uh, when... Uh, and, and yeah, Cole Eastwood was defending uh, Redfall, Redfield, whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, and, and he was... Uh, around that time he was defending, we figured out that he was having lunch with Phil Spencer. So he was... Uh, you know, I mean, it was... Uh, and I get it, though. I don't even blame uh, Cole Eastwood because, listen, man, once you start uh, meeting with these big heads, these big wigs, dog, like, you're not gonna meet them and then be, like, trashing their games afterward. You just cannot. Once you actually have a relationship with a, with a company like that you're just not gonna trash you're not gonna speak the truth right like let's be real so i'm not saying that's necessarily wrong or manipulative but i think it's created this system where a lot of wrong. xbox fans feel like they are friends with xbox and yeah. that's definitely not the case this is a billion dollar or in this case trillion dollar conglomerate with freaking microsoft they don't care about you sony doesn't care about you nintendo doesn't care about you Nintendo's yeah Yo, he's speaking my language right now. What is going on right now? What is going on? He's speaking my language right now, dog. 
that's what I've been preaching for a while, guys. Like, uh, they don't give a damn about you, bro. Like, they, they don't give a damn whether you have a BBC. They don't give, give a damn whether you have a BWC. They just don't care. They just want your, uh, they just want their $70 a year from, like, their online subscription from whether that be, like, PlayStation Plus, whether that be Xbox Live. I mean, Microsoft cares about Game Pass, too, so there's, like, that, bro, right? <laughs> Xbox Live and Xbox Gold. That's what they care about, man. The day you pass away, these things going to be crying. I mean, not even going to cry. They're going to be like, yeah, man, we just made, like, uh, you know, one, you know, $100 less, uh, uh this year Bruh. if that ticket was alive uh, we could have made like a hundred dollars more per year so yeah that's how they view you man they view you as wallets dollar signs man and seconds be crying like imagine like wasting your energy crying about like these rumors imagine like Im uh, it's gonna be even more hilarious if it turns out the rumors are fake and these things find out that they actually panic for no damn reason. Like these things panic for no reason, and they they they, they are making their bunkers right now to hide. Very in. good games, but they don't do it because they love you. They don't do it because they love Mario. They don't do it because they love Pikmin. They do it because it makes money. But that's not always a bad thing. I mean, damn, rare Dreamcast guy, W with this uh, statement right there. Only this one I'm saying. Okay, wow. Okay, I know some of you. Excuse How dare you? How dare you actually agree with Dreamcast guy? Nah, man. I, I mean, homie, spitting facts right here. Though. Okay, in this particular moment, he's spitting facts though. Come on, yo. You know, there's a lot of different motivations to create great art. I just think that Xbox's attempt at making a friendly user base has made it where now they feel like their friends have betrayed them for this possible abandonment of the Xbox brand. Man, a lot of people though are pointing out the interesting timing of this. There is a lot of rumors that we're about to get a Nintendo Direct coming up here on. Uh, this is taking place a few hours after. Okay. Oh, wait. What? Oh shit. Oh, shit. So there's gonna be a Nintendo Direct. Yeah. Okay. So yes, I, I saw some people mention Nintendo as well. Uh, so it looks like that we're having Nintendo Direct. I fully expect Hi-Fi Rush for Switch is in that direct and a big factor in when the update podcast can go it's gonna be hella interesting to see uh, what february 15th well. usually those happen early in the morning so the fact that this might be a shadow drop of hi-fi rush on switch probably hi-fi rush also coming to playstation 5 on the same day it kind of makes sense that maybe they're going to announce oh, the first oh. games that are leaving xbox and right as people begin to freak out the xbox podcast drops and says hey here's the good here's the bad here's what's I, I don't i don't know like if we're gonna have a bigger freak out than this though this was the biggest freak out i don't think we can ever top this one right here actually going on now the final rumor that keeps going around is that phil spencer is apparently putting out the fire that there have been discussions about the idea of yeah. the death of xbox like actually the physical box itself they may stop producing the xbox series x and the xbox series s and phil spencer internally according to secret documents has straight up said hey we're not going to stop making consoles now to me this is the primary thing that i was interested in i, I yeah. think i am very yeah like ho homie definitely have a hard on for like this xbox demise like he might not know like whether <laughs> xbox is dying this year whether it's gonna die next year it's whether it's gonna die in 2026 but if i'm not mistaken like right uh we we heard rumors that and these are rumors only coming from the ftc and the activision thing i believe it's not rumors it's like what ftc said but but I, I but i'm not sure i saw this on the internet this is why i'm like saying rumors because uh, now this thing is we believe in everything they see on the internet right Bruh. <laughs> right so uh, but uh, yeah rumors are going around that the next xbox is going to be coming out in 2026 it's going to be the xbox next gen console playstation 6 coming out in 2028 ps5 pro coming out by the end of this year 2024 uh and we're not getting like any mid-gen xbox refresh right and i think okay that's fine right like uh we're getting the next gen xbox in 2026 but apparently we're hearing the next gen xbox is gonna be digital only though oh, shit. Oh, shit. yay which means stream only cloud only so and, and if that happens though like I, I swear to god like that that's gonna be one the, the biggest slap on the xbox uh andy space and i quite frankly i think we're, we're gonna see like a part two of that too i, I will link you this video in a, in a second okay curious to see which playstation games we get like which xbox games come to playstation how much they cost i do believe that we're going to start to see xbox games not come into game pass but to me Damn. the primary concern is where am i going to play them i have a great incredibly powerful gaming pc but i like to play stuff directly on my xbox series x I think that, that's cap bro stop the cap you knew you you guys like come on man you were also anticipating he was gonna say like PlayStation. I also I got a good PC, but I play on PlayStation. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, nah, that's cap. But recently, guys, 
this is what happened. We have this Xbox fanboy just completely, he completely lost it on camera. Has five kids apparently, but he went into coma after this news, right? We, we have this Asmongold video right here. Click on it and I'll see you right there.